that's a funny looking license plate. That's because I'm in Germany. Greetings, salutations, and thanks for joining me for another video. Today we have a very special one. Not only am I here in Germany right now and traveling from Copenhagen, Denmark, through Berlin, Germany, and then on down to Rocklaw, Poland, but it's even more special because I'm here with my mom. <laughs> so we're gonna be traveling today from Berlin down to uh, Rocklaw, Poland, and then to a little town called Birtau, Poland where my mom actually grew up or was originally born, which at the time was actually Germany, uh, but now is just over the border into Poland. So I'm a little bit nervous about driving through Europe. Uh, so far from the airport to the hotel here in Berlin uh, was not bad, but now we have about a five hour drive and we did want to maybe stop by Giga Berlin just to check it out and we'll be supercharging along the way. So it's going to be a whole new experience. I'm excited. Hope you're excited. But before that, how did we get here? Let's take a trip back about four days to Nashville, Tennessee, and I'll show you. So are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I can't believe it yet All right. until we take off. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> but it'll be more excited when I get on the plane. <laughs>
All right, so first things first on this Tesla Model 3 rental from Hertz, I'm gonna go in and change it to English because I have no idea what the screen says right now. So I believe go to there and then go to display. And then in display, I believe, yeah, touch screen. Is this it? English. Okay. All right, gotta restart. And there we go. And everything's back to what's most comfortable for me. Something was in Italian, voice recognition language. Percentage, I'm gonna do miles and Fahrenheit. Yep, 60 Fahrenheit. All right, so I got all the settings pretty much back to how I feel comfortable with them. Although it's gonna be kind of fun having a British English for any uh, navigation. All right, I think that's it. All right, so just got to Berlin. Uh, we're here at the airport at the Hertz garage and just picked up the Tesla Model 3. And to say I'm a little bit nervous about driving through downtown Berlin um, is an understatement. So uh, I've actually never driven outside of the US, so this is gonna be new for me. So definitely a little nerve wracking, uh, but also pretty excited. All right, let's, uh, let's head to the hotel. All right, so just got here to my hotel in Berlin. Uh, just got set up in my room here. My mom is in the room next door and just super excited to be here. Uh, getting the Tesla Model 3 from the airport. Uh, I was a little nervous about that. Just my first time driving Europe, first time driving in a different country. And it was actually not bad at all. It felt kind of like driving through Minneapolis. Although I think Berlin's like 10 times the size actually. <laughs> but just got into the room. It's kind of been a whirlwind two days of travel. So I am definitely exhausted right now, but I am excited to explore at least close to the hotel tonight and then the next couple of days and explore all of what Berlin has to offer. We also have an exciting road trip coming up to Poland and I can't wait to show you guys that. All right, so I'm gonna get kind of settled with everything here in the room and I will check in with you guys shortly. Oh, and one of the things I've noticed in European hotels is they always have like the two comforters, which is actually really nice because like then you and your significant other aren't fighting for the covers. You have your own, your own blanket. So actually kind of nice. Oh yeah, this is kind of an interesting thing here in Europe is that when you come in with your key card, you know, you use it to, you know, get in your door for your room, then you have to use this to uh, get the lights to work. So you turn on the lights and then you pop this in and then obviously got lights here in the room, but watch as I take off here and leave, take it off and all the lights went off. <laughs> so, I mean, I know it's for like environmental purposes, less electricity being used and it actually makes a lot of sense. So. You know, whenever you leave the room, you're obviously gonna take your key card and that turns off all the lights. All right, let's go check in with my mom. Hey, <laughs> I see you figured out the thing from I did. Copenhagen. I that did. They taught us well. Come on in. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. All right, yours is pretty much the same, a little little different, but. Is it? All right, so you ready to go grab some food? Yep, I'm ready. Did you notice that we have a refrigerator in this one? I did not. Show me. I thought it was part of the desk. <laughs> and it is a refrigerator. Oh, nice. I did not notice that.
All right, so we made it to Berlin. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uwe. Good to see you. Hey. All right, so as you can see, it's been a lot of fun so far. Lots of adventures to come. Let's get on the road and head for Poland. All right, before we hit the road though, I wanna take a look at the maps here and figure out exactly where we're going. And we did wanna maybe stop by Giga Berlin just to check it out. So let's take a look at the map and look at the initial route and then we'll see if we have time to stop at Giga Berlin. Instead of just putting in the city we're going to, I'm actually gonna look at the supercharger map here and just kind of take it out to a really wide view. We're going down here across the border to Rocklaw, Poland. And let's check out the different superchargers along the way. And you can see that we're up here in the heart of Berlin and we're gonna have to go down um, whatever this road is. <laughs> I don't know what they're, uh, A18 it looks like. Um, or actually, I don't know what that is. That might just be an exit. Oh no, here it is. Looks like Highway 15, maybe. So we're gonna take that from Berlin up here straight down to Rockla, and I believe Giga Berlin is like right over here. So I'll put that in the map here in just a second. All right, so let's go ahead and tap on the Rockla supercharger. Shows four stalls at 150 kilowatt max, and it's 171 miles away. I did turn this from kilometers to miles, just in the settings. I turned everything to back to, you know, Fahrenheit and, and miles, just to make it a little easier on myself. But uh, yeah, 171 miles away. So it looks like there's a supercharger just south of Berlin here in, how do you say that? Burst, Burstland, Germany. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead. That one's 42.7 miles away. We'll go ahead and put that one in. All right, so I also put in Giga Berlin and it's gonna take us a little bit north of Berlin and then around. Um, I'm not sure why, but I guess that's the fastest route. And then here is that supercharger I just showed you guys. So as soon as we're done there, we'll just head down here. And then that just takes us all down to Rockla. So I think it's just time to get on the road and we will see you there. All right, we currently have 64% before heading to Giga Berlin. And then we'll go charge up and probably get a pretty full charge. So I'll see you there. Oh yeah, and by the way, it shows that we'll arrive at Giga Berlin with about 45%.
right, so we're passing Giga Berlin right now. Now turn left onto Tesla Strasse. Security ahead, so I'm gonna take a left here. In 1,000 feet, you will arrive at your destination. This is similar to how you could do it at Giga Texas or Giga Austin. All right, so at Giga Berlin, it's kind of crazy, right? Right there. <laughs> Can't exactly say I was planning to come here anytime soon, but figured I was in the area. Might as well stop by, right? All right, so actually finally made it to Giga Berlin. You can see the front right there. Kind of crazy that I'm here. Super windy out. I was going to put up the drone, but that's not going to happen. Uh, but just wanted to show you kind of the front right here. And then we'll drive around that side too and check that out. But uh, yeah, figured I was in the area. Probably not going to be here that often, so why not stop by, right? A lot of activity. It looks like they're building a whole new section over on that side. Ooh. <laughs> but I'm really loving the Model 3. Might be my next daily driver. All right, so that was fun. Um, we're gonna head out now and head to the supercharger on the way to Rocklaw, Poland. So let's go ahead and hit the supercharger icon here. And let's uh, just look at the area. All right, so it only appears to have one supercharger along the way here, well, two before we get to Rocklaw, but uh, the next one is right here. And that's where we're gonna head. It is Burstland and it's 30 miles away. So let's see here six stalls total at 120 kilowatts so a little bit slower three stalls available so let's go ahead and tap that and it shows it'll take us about 47 minutes to get there 42 miles and we'll arrive with 24 percent all right let's get on the road i'll see you guys there So just under a mile to the, what was it? What was the name of it? Rickshausen. Well, oh, that's the street that you turn, oh. but it's uh, Bertisland or something like that. Let's check. Bertisland. 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 Now turn right onto Rickshausen. This is kind of cool. <laughs> Interesting little supercharger location. See it up on the right here. Okay. Oh. It's all German houses. I know. Glad you went to the bathroom. All they, all they have here is an outhouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is weird. Now your destination is on the right. And it's kind of stinks because we're. Well, they've been here a while. Maybe they'll leave. Not mm -hmm. too very broken, huh? Oh no! And I see stuff being fixed behind this one. All right. So just arrived in Bertislan. Uh, supercharger here in Germany, uh, just southeast of downtown Berlin, uh, maybe about an hour or so. And we arrived with 23%. And now we're going to head off to Rakla, Poland. Uh, I think it's a few hour drive. Um, I will put that up on the screen here in a minute, but just wanted to get charging since we got here and there's only four stalls. It looks like maybe a couple are broken and a couple are being worked on. So I'm going to get charging and then we'll catch up on the route ahead. Oh, well, this is kind of cool. So this is the uh, dual uh, ones for CCS and I'm not sure the other one. I'm, I'm not sure what that one is because this is, I don't know, I'm gonna have to ask. Nope, that's the other one. All right, looks like that and that's not correct. 
How do we do that? Oh, well, this is kind of cool. All right, so I got hooked up, but my mom just made a good point. <laughs> and what was that? <laughs> Why don't you go to the next one? Because no one is charging on it. <laughs> yeah, so there's actually somebody you can see charging on this one right there. Um, but this one, which I thought somebody was charging on, they're actually not. So I'm going to pull over to this next spot to 2A uh, because these are sharing and because they're only 120 kilowatt. So I've mentioned that before, that anything under 150, uh, you share with anybody on the same number. But yeah, we're up to 30%. Uh, I'm gonna move real quick, uh, cause we're only getting 51 kilowatts in and we should be getting like the whole 140. Okay, so see the kilowatts going up right now. We'll see what they get up to. They were at 51, but it should go up quite a bit higher than that. Yep, there we go, already passed it. Good call, mom. <laughs> Even though I don't drive a Tesla, I know a few things from you. <laughs> yeah, you watch enough of my videos. Exactly. To, yeah. She's like, why don't we pull over to that one? <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're up to 103. So we're, we're over double what we were just right over here. So definitely makes a lot of difference. Now I need to look in the map and see exactly what it'll be to Rocklaw, Poland. Okay, you can see we're right here very much south southeast of Berlin which is right up here and we're going down here to Rocklaw so let's tap that supercharger it's 135 miles away and I did look in the settings here and saw that they actually did give me a long range so I was they told me they were upgrading me to a long range uh, for Hertz uh, number one gold but I wasn't sure if they actually did and they did so that's good so I should have a little bit extra mileage uh, yeah, 135 miles. Let's tap that. Shows right now, if we left, we'd be at minus 14%. And obviously we're only at 35%. So we'll let it charge up for probably about, well, it says 15 minutes to continue trip. We'll probably let it go just a little bit extra just because my mom always wants to be a little conservative when it comes to that. So we'll do that and uh, we'll be on our way. And that supercharger in Poland is called the, well, you try pronouncing that. <laughs> well, that's where we're going. Not in Polish. All right, just popped up with, uh, I have enough energy to continue my trip. I'm gonna let it go for another five or 10 minutes. My mom just made a little sandwich here in the car. <laughs> and so I'm gonna hang out and I just wanna have a little extra charge today, just in case, you know, we get into any situations where, um, you know, just don't have a charger real close by. Although I did look at the PlugShare app and there were a ton of chargers. Yeah, so we should be hitting the uh, border of Poland probably in about the next hour. Then I think it's about another hour and a half, two hours after that. So I did want to have just a little bit of extra energy uh, again, just in case. But overall, the charging experience is largely the same. Uh, just the connector is CCS, uh, which you know I have an adapter for in the United States, but here all EVs are CCS. But it did throw me off when there are two charging cables on the Tesla supercharger there because it didn't make any sense to me. I, in the United States, it makes sense. We have the traditional Tesla handle, and then we have the CCS, uh, which is obviously the standard that the rest of the world went with. That was like an old Model S handle, and I don't know, I guess I, I haven't seen those before, um, but he said they're like a smaller type of CCS. I think that might be CCS2. I'm not sure on that. Uh, I'll have to look it up. But yeah, I'm super happy that he was here and just kind of showed me how to do it real quick. Obviously everything else is pretty much the same. And like my mom said earlier, as soon as she saw that we were charging next to this other car and he wasn't charging, she was like, well, we should probably move over. So that was a good call. All right, up to 80%, let's go unhook. All right, and so that charge was 17, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I mean, I know it's euros, but a little over 17 euros. I don't know how to say like, is it seven, it's because it's 17 euros, 10 cents? I don't, not sure. Somebody, uh, one of my uh, European viewers, correct me, please in the comments.
right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our efficiency as we're going along here. And it looks like we're getting about 300 watt hours per mile. So that's not too bad, but it's not fantastic either. I mean, the weather's not that great, but um, yeah, that's what we're getting. What a fine array. the exit on the right towards you I want to stay and I want to wander I want to stay and I want to wander Will I stay a little longer Won't you let me stay a little longer What will I do is on the right. Northern gas station. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah. There you know. They even have a stop thing. Alright, so just arrived at I have no idea. Let's take a look. Get it to focus there. You try saying that name. <laughs> Not exactly sure, but it's just, I think, west of Rakla, Poland. So we're going to, it's a little gas station here. There are four chargers here at 150 kilowatt max. We arrived with 14% and looks like we were getting a pretty good 238 watt hours per mile on this last stretch. So pretty good. All right, so we're gonna charge up and give it a decent charge. So we have enough to explore around Rock Claw and then Beer Tau tomorrow. There we go. All right. There we go, starting charge. See the kilowatts going up right there. We do have things like, we got a KFC right across the street right there. It's kind of funny. Saw a couple McDonald's on the way in. All right, so yeah, we're up to 119 kilowatts, 129. So probably gonna get the full amount. Yep, 142. So that's probably gonna be close to the full amount. Yeah, we'll probably go up to like 75, 80% and, uh, and then take off. All right, yeah, here just outside of Rock Claw at the Tesla supercharger. That's four stalls, 150 kilowatts. My mom chilling inside. <laughs> but yeah, we'll sit here for probably about 20, 25 minutes. Here's the, they got the old Model S chargers too, I guess. I don't really know much about those. Shows our hotel here in Rock Claw is just about, well, it's 24 miles away, but 48 minutes. So could be traffic. It is Friday afternoon or about 5.15 on Friday. So that could be a little bit of it. And you see yeah, as you get close toward the downtown area of Rock Claw, a little, little slower. All right, we stuck around for, I don't know, about 30, 35 minutes, went up to 94%. I'm gonna go on hook. go all right and that charge was 113.45 polish pln do i have any idea how much that is no although i think it's approximately 25 us dollars because we just looked up how much parking was at our hotel and it was 100 pln and that was 23 dollars so it's yeah like probably like 25 27 dollars something like that um but yeah we're heading off now to our hotel it says we'll get there 
with 83%, and that should give us plenty to explore tomorrow on Rocklaw, and then go on to where my mom was born in Biertau, which again at the time was Bernstadt, Germany. All right, so we're gonna take off and I'll see you at the hotel. All right, so I was able to get a spot here and we do have charging. I don't know if it's free or not, but you can see they have a couple other EVs here. Um, it's a Jeep EV. It's interesting. Um, but yeah, everything uh, looks pretty good. I got this little cord here, so I'm gonna try that and see if it works. All right, so plug that side in. Looks like this side goes in here. Let's see if this thing works though. Hmm, I'm not quite sure what could be wrong here. Okay, so the problem was I needed to plug that in first, actually. I plugged that in, then lifted this up, plugged that in, seemed to work fine. Now we get the blue light and we are charging. Only an hour and 25 minutes remaining on the charge, but that's fine. We'll keep it plugged in all night then head out tomorrow and go explore. All right, so we just got into the hotel here in Rocklaw. Uh, two junior suites, my mom's right across the hall here, and everything is beautiful. I mean, this hotel is gorgeous. Uh, lobby's gorgeous, restaurant down there look great, cool lounge area. And so looking forward to going out to dinner tonight, having a little fun. Um, on the way in, holy crap, those streets were tiny. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're gonna head out all around Rocklaw, as well as go to Biertau, which was my mom's hometown back when it was Bernstadt, Germany. So we're gonna be going down, I guess, early memory lane for her, because she was a young child when she was here, but I think it's gonna be a little emotional for her, so I'm glad I'm here to share it with her. So just can't wait to see the city. Just got a shower, time to head downstairs, get some dinner, then I'm probably gonna head to bed and call it a night. This is my mom's room, pretty similar. She's in the restroom right now. So I figured I'd just show you guys around real quick. Happy camper. <laughs>
All right, so good morning. I uh, just got up here in Rocklaw, Poland, getting ready to head to breakfast downstairs at the hotel. And then we're gonna go out and explore uh, this area as well as Beer Tau. So let me show you outside the uh, windows real quick. Uh, it's actually kind of a beautiful area. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think there's lots of like old churches around here. You can tell like the old cobblestone roads. So I think this video is probably already long enough, so I'm gonna probably end this one here. So thank you again for watching, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more like it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next travel quick tip or review video. Thanks for watching.